So let's say that you take a certain amount of damage, right? Each of your spells in WoW is actually going to show an amount of percentage damage. If we go into the spell book, let's see if it'll actually show it in here. See how this says 104,954 on it? That's not actually the amount of damage you can do. You have a, an amount of damage that your character can do, and this spell has a coefficient. The coefficient determines how much damage this spell does based on your character's actual damage. So in this case, Let's say that Mangle has a coefficient of 20%. This will be 20% of the overall damage that you would possibly do. That's all it is. And then let's say that this other spell, like, um, I don't know, Maul, something like that. We'll go grab some other spell like Thrash. That has a coefficient of maybe 18%. Another one has 15%. Let's say that your character can do a potential of 1,000 damage. And one of your spells has a 15% coefficient, and it's really kind of a, you know, it hits five targets sort of a thing. And another one of your spells has a 50% coefficient, but it only hits one target. It's your big, big one damage spell. This one will do 500 damage on a swing. This one will do 150 damage on a swing to each of those five targets. This is how coefficients work. This is how you balance a class by doing coefficients for each one of these. Really simple. Co what now? It's called a coefficient. Coefficient. So with that in mind, when you can add other things on top of this, maybe you do something like percent physical, percent extra damage, percent against a target that's bleeding. Then you take this value and you multiply by that percent. So let's say you have a 20% bonus damage against a target that is bleeding, right? You would take 500 damage and you would say... 500 times 1.2 because it's 20% extra. You see how this is working now? So that would do 600 damage coefficient. But here's the problem. That's not the whole calculation. There's the other side of the calculation. So let's go into here and we're going to look at my character. You have the armor. So let's say that we were going to do 600 damage to a target that has 17.23% armor. So you're going to take on your calculator, we'll take 600 and you're going to say, in this case, 7.7. 7. So you multiply by that. This will be the end result damage because we're reducing the damage of 600 by 17.23%. Armor reduces your damage taken if it's physical because it's physical damage reduction. And then there's the next piece. The next piece is something like this, which reduces your damage taken flat. This one says 49,163. Let's say for this calculation, it's minus 100, right, instead. So with this, we'll say it's actually minus 100 damage. This would be minus 100. So this is going to be 7.94%. So we take another calculator and we say like 100 minus 7.94. So it's 92.06. And then we're going to multiply this by 0.94. 9206. So this is it after versatility. Basically what we've done here, we've taken 600 damage, we've taken 17.23% off, then we've taken off of versatility, we've taken another 7.94% off. This is called a multiplicative scalar. Then what we do is we do what's called a flat reduction. In this case, 49,163 is actually 4,916. Let's say that it's 100. Then we just do minus 100. Now here's the interesting part. What if it wasn't minus 100? What if it was minus 500? What happens when it goes negative? What ends up happening is that it says absorb. It does zero damage, but it says absorb instead of saying a number. So what ends up happening here, which is really interesting, it doesn't heal you, it absorbs. So because we do armor and then versatility, and then we do the flat after that calculation goes through, flat is very goddamn strong. Flat reduction is enormous on a guardian druid because of this, but only in cases where you're taking a lot of hits, not one big hit. Big hits, you want versatility. A lot of hits, you want flat reduction.